Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is parathyroid uh, adenomas, you know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel, you know. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com, you know. Now, a parathyroid adenoma is, uh, it's a benign tumor. Uh, on one of your parathyroid glands, you know. And as you know, there are four uh, very small glands located near or at the back of your thyroid gland, you know. And their function is that they produce parathyroid hormones known as PTH, you know. And uh, the function of this hormone is that it helps to control the amount of calcium and phosphorus in your body, you know, or in your blood, you know. Now, a parathyroid adenoma causes uh, the affected gland to release more uh, parathyroid hormone than it's, it should, you know. So as a result, this uh, disrupts your calcium and phosphorus balance and this condition is called hyperparathyroidism, you know. Now, the next thing is what are the symptoms? Well, there is a good chance that you will not experience any symptoms uh, if uh, you have this condition, you know. And the people often find out they have one of these uh, tumors during a blood test for any other problem, you know. And uh, these tumors can lead to hyperparathyroidism. And in fact, these tumors are uh, the most common cause of this condition, you know. And uh, the hyperparathyroidism associated with these tumors can cause issues with your uh, bones uh, because your calcium levels are affected and the bones might be fragile, they might be brittle, or they might be painful, you know. And uh, hyperthyroidism uh, may cause you to experience like uh, bone fractures, kidney diseases, or kidney stones, and uh, excessive urination, you know. And uh, you may have more general and non-specific symptoms like uh, uh, mental changes such as depression or maybe anxiety, maybe confusion, you know, nausea, vomiting, uh, pain in the muscles and in the abdomen, you know, so these are, you may experience these symptoms as well. Uh, sometimes your doctors are not sure uh, what causes the tumor to appear on one of your glands, you know, so uh, we don't know the specific reason, you know. And uh, you may be like genetically dis predisposed to develop these tumors, you know. Uh, radiation exposure may be related to the increased uh, likelihood of developing the parathyroid, right? Uh, Adenomas, you know. And uh, you are more likely to develop uh, if you are a woman and your age is over 65 years. And these tumors appear in men and women after other ages as well, you know. Uh, you know, these uh, tumors cause your body to produce too much uh, parathyroid hormones. So your doctor will check your blood levels uh, for this hormone. And if you are, if they are elevated, you know, your doctor may consider this condition, you know. And the elevated levels of uh, parathyroid hormone levels are not the only indication that may have, you know, the parathyroid tumor, you know. Because uh, uh, this helps to regulate your calcium and phosphorus, so unusual levels of these minerals in your blood may also suggest that you have one of these tumors, you know. So your doctor may check uh, your bone density and look for the kidney stones uh, with the help of the x-rays and other imaging tests like ultrasound and CT scan. Uh, treatment uh, typically involves uh, surgical removal of the tumor. So, having one of these tumors used to mean uh, doctors would need to check all four of your parathyroid glands uh, during the surgery, you know. So, today's uh, technology allows them to figure out before surgery where the tumor is and whether you have more than one tumor, you know. And uh, only around 10% of the people with this condition have a um, uh, tumor in more than one gland, you know. So, these uh, surgeries are successful in curing the tumors in 90% of the cases, you know. And uh, in addition to the mild 
uh, your doctor might choose not to uh, like uh, perform the surgery you know if condition is very bad you know and uh, your doctor might simply monitor your condition you know and uh, see the progression you know course, you know. and your doctor may prescribe the medications uh, for your condition like uh, a hormone replacement therapy can be helpful for the uh, post menopausal women or uh, whose bone density is a concern you know. and for other patients your doctor may suggest like uh, 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 drugs that can decrease the secretion of uh, these hormones you know. Uh, you know, parathyroid adenoma is a small benign tumor. So these tumors can lead to the condition called hyperparathyroidism and this condition can cause bone fractures, kidney stones and urine problems. You know? So that's the, uh, like, uh, there's a summary of this topic, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like, subscribe or share these videos to support this channel. And the link for the website is just below this video. Thank you. Goodbye.